so it's me your little boy okay something you know i have something special for us choosing ones today you know what they meant for evil have backfired them and that is why they are unhappy you know a lot of people are shocked how come the evil that they set before you automatically revised back to them a lot of people up there are absolutely were devastated because the evil which they said to destroy you the evil which they prepare to terminate every single thing around you have finally ended up destroying them have finally end up terminating them have finally end up destroying every single breed within them so they are wondering how come the evil backfire <laughs> how come it returned back to them that's why the bible said the arrow that fly by the day not the one that shooted by the night it will not come near us but only with our eyes will we use to see the repercussion and the reward of the wicked the bible says, who is that that speaketh and it shall come to pass when the lord our god have not commanded he said call upon me in the days of trouble i will answer you show you signs and wonders that you have not seen he said i am the lord that do it that men may fear him <laughs> let me tell you a lot of people are scared of your god <laughs> You may not be aware, you may not have the idea how many people up there who are panicking because what God has done for you is something unbelievable. <laughs> yes, you know, many of us don't know how many what, how many what tribes, how many traps the enemy have set, how many arrows they have released, but yet we are what we are still standing on top of all the mess that they intended to put us through, on top of all the things that they intended to cause us to go through, on top of all the frustration that they intended to do or to cause us to enter, but yet God delivered us. <laughs> That's why sometimes when I see people who are complaining about how things is going on around them, I smile because we've got open your eyes up there to see what the enemy were expecting, waiting for you to pass through, or what the enemies are plotting, expecting to destroy you. I smile because you have no idea how God and what God is doing behind you. Majority of us have no idea what God is doing behind the scene, how God is protecting, preserving you, even behind the scene. Because a lot of people up there have been waiting to see your end. A lot of people up there have been, wait, have been waiting to see how you are going to do it, how you are going to end it. But God delivered you. Their mission, their thought, all their evil. Some of them have even jubilated before the evil. They have celebrated even when the evil have not yet what started walking. They have even jubilated even when they have not seen the sun because they believe that it will surely do what work because they believe that that evil will surely perform because they believe that that evil hoop they have said be, be you know behind you be unknown to you behind the scene many of them believe that it will absolutely work accurately it will absolutely what destroy a lot it will absolutely what terminate a lot it will absolutely what you know cost you a lot damages they believe that, but believe me, they are hopeless. They are frustrated. Majority of them up there are humiliated because all that they met for evil, God turned it against them. All that they did for evil, against, you know, against you, all that they met for you, all that they set for you to destroy you, God finally revised it back. That is all, that is how kings, you know. Um, Oh, Herman end up his life. Herman jubilated. Herman was rejoiced. Herman was so full of gladness. Herman was so full of and call you know courageous. Herman was so happy because Herman thought was that ah the evil that he plotted against Esther must surely be able to destroy Esther. That the end of Esther is already what near. The thought of Herman was that the end of Easter is near, that the end of Easter progress success is near. But believe me, it turned against him. He ended up in shame. The shame he was trying to put Easter 
become his sheep. So what am I trying to tell you is this. A lot of people up there who have been expecting to put you in shame are, what are, are now what are in shame. A lot of people up there who have been plotting, trying to do to put you in tears are in tears. A lot of people who have been expecting you to cry are crying because the evil that they prepare behind you, the setup and the frustration automatically revise back to them. And that is why many of them are no longer what happy with you because they never believe that your head is what is bigger than the evil that they plotted. And that is why they are what they are secretly hating all about you. They are secretly hating you. But believe me, they are scared of your God. Remember,